Well, folks, <laughs> this here thing between Jaguar, official Kingpin, and Sean Davy Ray, the truth is coming out behind it. Because Jaguar had everybody believing that official Kingpin just attacked her, and Sean Davy Ray, he stopped being friends with her for no reason. But come to find out, Miss Jaguar was mighty busy. This is why she was calling on Donut or do not for the past week she's been mentioning his name that he is now her friend because folks she was plotting allegedly this is what Sean Davy Ray said she's been plotting with the not to put all these false receipts on King Payne official King Payne so Sean Davy Ray said she didn't get to do that because he fall he put a wrench he stopped the plan from going forward because <laughs> Jaguar, I'm telling you, you can't tell on yourself. If you are planning on scheming and plotting against someone, you have to be able to do it in secrecy. This is where Tasha K made her error when she revealed she had all that money over there in Africa that she was transferring. You don't tell on yourself. Same thing with Jaguar. She told on herself. She told... Sean Davy Ray, this is what he said. Jaguar told him that she was going to plot and she was going to get together with the knot to put out false receipts on official campaign. Now, official campaign was supposed to be her friend. And she confided in Sean Davy Ray what she was going to do. Now, this is what I'm thinking. She could only confide in Sean Davy Ray if she thought that Sean Davy Ray and official King Payne were not getting along. Maybe Sean Davy Ray or official King Payne said something to Jaguar to let her to believe that they were not friends. That's the only way she can confide in Sean Davy Ray to tell him that she was going to plot against official King Payne and put all these false receipts that he stole money and get together with the knot to do so. And confided in Sean Davy Ray. The only way she could have confided in him, in my mind, is if she knew definitely that they were not getting along. Because there's no way I would tell you something if I know that you're going to carry that bone back. She did not think that Sean Davy Ray was going to carry that bone back to official King Payne. That's why she confided in him. And the only reason she had the confidence to tell him is because she knew for a fact they were not getting along. So the first mistake she made was to confide in him. The second mistake she made was believing that he would not carry that bone back because according to Sean D. V. Ray, if she can do it to King Payne, who she considers such a good friend, she can do it to him also. And this is why he decided to open his mouth and call her out, reveal what was going on, going on, and also told official King Payne about this plot against him. So there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of backbiting, cutthroat type of situations, only because these people want to make money on the internet and they want the salacious content. They're running out of content like BC Jaguar. Don't have nothing going on on her channel. The only thing she can do is sit down there in the dark and watch other people's videos and talk smack because on her own channel, she have nothing to really report. She and TJ are boring, in other words. So SDW came out with the receipts against Jaguar and this plot against OKP because he said if she can do that to OKP and they're supposed to be bosom buddies so close they're good friends Jaguar calls him her best friend if she can do it to him then she can turn the tables on SDW and do the same to him also he said that's why he came forth and revealed this plot against official Kingpin so SDW said they already know about the plan three weeks prior because three weeks ago he disclosed the plan to 
official King Payne. So those these folks were talking to each other all this time, knowing about this plan. They were talking to Jaguar. Jaguar was talking to them. I'm telling you, it's a cutthroat world. Imagine Jaguar was hashing this plan was with the knot. Or at least this is the plan that she wanted to be in place with the knot. I don't know if she got to the stage where she actually was discussing it with him, but this is what she wanted to do. And she told Sean, if you were thinking that he wouldn't tell official King Payne and talking to these guys on the regular, like if nothing was a myth. And official King Payne knew about the plan and he was talking to Jaguar as if everything was all right. Hey, friend. Hey, friend. Jaguar. Oh, I love you. You know, and these folks, I mean, they're dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Anyway, let's move on with this story. There's no honor among thieves. It's a true saying. And then the second thing is uh, that I wanted to address is that TJ told Jaguar that official King Payne told her not to bail Jaguar out, not to help her because Jaguar is a scam artist and a narcissist and some other choice words. And TJ said, well, she decided to come down there because Jaguar really needed her because official King Payne told her not to come, that Jaguar is a scammer. Well, I started to think about that and I said, what in the world is going on here? Now, Jaguar said TJ told this to her three weeks ago. Now, I'm wondering if TJ actually told it to her or did she make it up? And TJ is just going along with it. Because we see where TJ does not have a backbone. Everything Jaguar tells her and coach her on, she co-signs. And the reason why I'm saying this, I don't know for sure, but whenever Jaguar asks her a question, and she's uncomfortable answering that question. You guys notice the long pause. And then she will start with this, uh, well, you know, that means she wasn't there. She didn't say that. And she was coach. That's all it means. So I got some clarity tonight after I tune into SDW as well as official KP show. Because this show had a lot of explaining, a lot of explanation as to what happened in that coffee room. Because a lot of people don't pay for coffee, myself included. I'm not going to pay to go into no chat room and listen to gossip. But everything that was said in there, <laughs> that's what they mentioned on the show. So I tuned into the show because Sean Vive came on and he was spilling tea. I don't think there's nothing left in the cup. He spilled so much tea. I want you guys to listen to what he had to say. And I'll be interjecting with my commentary. But hit the like as you come onto the page. As well as subscribe if you have not done so as yet. Let's get back to the video. So Jaguar and TJ are having drinks. Looks like beer outside of some Mexican place. Sitting on some, looks like park stools or benches. And you know, the wooden benches with the table. She is now forcing TJ to repeat what official King Pin said. And she is, if you guys listen and examine what Jaguar is saying and the hesitancy, TJ is very hesitant. She does not want to answer. That tells me it's a lie. She does not want to put herself in this blatant lie anymore. She has withdrawn, but Jaguar is going to force her to say what she wants her to say. Take a listen. What is that? Yes, Jaguar may not have booked the sober living facility, but it was her conduct 
that got her kicked out. That part she's forgetting to tell. Now she's pressing TJ, trying to find out what official King Payne said. She want to make it official that TJ says it over the internet for everybody to hear. What about this coffee platform they've got going on? Nothing is supposed to come out of coffee uh, chat room. But Jaguar, being the blabbermouth that she is, she spills all the tea anyway. So why pay $5 or $4? She tells the business. I am telling you guys, that woman who calls herself TJ is making me sick by the minute. She has no freaking backbone. Jaguar is able to run all over her anytime she chooses. I thought this woman looked so tough and so rough and so masculine that she would put her foot down in certain situations. She's like a big teddy bear. She ain't got no type of backbone, honey. Like a worm. Inchworm. King who? King Kane. King Kane? Well, I was sitting out there in the fucking heat waiting for a call to come. Well, you know what? If she's lying, if TJ's lying on King Payne, she got to stick to the lie. She was very reluctant in repeating it again this time around. But let me tell you, if you lie, you got to stick to it. Because the minute you get caught in that lie, you will not be trusted ever. So she's got to stick to it. Whatever she said before, she's got to stick to. The tornado warnings and shit. After deflecting from that place after they cut the water off and the bitch got mad at me when I said I was calling the state, right? Didn't I send you the text messages of the water bill and shit? Yeah. Didn't I send you the text messages of her threats? Yeah, don't you still have them in your phone? I guess. Wait a minute, didn't we speak that day when that bitch that was supposed to braid my hair? Came to pick me up? But did I talk to you? Oh my god. Did I talk to you? Did I talk to you? You did. And what happened? What happened? The day I was supposed to get my hair braided while I was still in Mrs. Hannigan's house. Come on, TJ, speak up. Speak up now or forever hold your peace. You in this knee deep, okay? You wanted this. This is what you wanted. But I guess once you're in it, you don't want it no more. But it's too late. You went and left all your family, your house and everything. Now you're in it, girl. You didn't want to be on the internet. Oh, I'm so shy. Oh, I don't want my family involved. Oh, this and oh, that. Now you're in it. Now speak up. We want to hear what the hell you got to say. Well, tell them, babe. God, that lady was being a weird uh-huh. They're free. Tell them. Tell them with that goddamn Yolanda Sandoval. Tell them what I told you. Come on, tell them. Come, Come on, speak them. up. Speak up. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them what happened. Don't be shy. Day, Don't be shy. my friend, the official King Payne, set up a hair appointment for me so I could get my hair braided as we see it's not... Yeah, the bitch um, hit him up. Uh, she was calling herself Rochelle. I had no idea who the fuck she really is. But she told me her name was Rochelle. And the official campaign set up a hair appointment for me with someone that he didn't even bother with that or put me in a car with a goddamn stranger. And all the fuck she did was adamantly tell me the campaign is not my friend. I'm not sure about Sean Davey Wade. She said, but I know. I'm telling you, the official campaign is not your friend. Tell them about that day, right? I wasn't there. Tell them about what I told you. You just told me that that girl was acting real weird, and she wanted to find out where you live, and you had to get out the car on her. And... 
She really didn't want to braid your hair, and then she took you to. We went to the hair shop and yeah. picked out all the hair. And it wasn't so exciting. Anyway. Remember, I told you the colors I was going to look like Storm from the X Men. It was, we did. It was, yeah, I told but you, you I was so talk, excited. Again, your hair wasn't done, and you was like, I had to get out there, <laughs> jump out that bitch car. Like, what? You jumping out of cars and shit? <laughs> She was the op. That's what she told me. And when I talked to my friend, the official King Payne. I'm glad you still think he's your friend because he said you are not his friend, Jaguar. And what did he say? Yeah, because you were sitting, sitting right next to me while we were on the phone. And his exact response was, I didn't bother to check who she was, friend. I thought it was just a blessing from God. I think if TJ was sitting next to Jaguar, and that statement was made, she would have remembered. I think at this point, I'm sure Jaguar is making stuff up to cover herself. Guys, drop your comments if you think Jaguar is making stuff up to cover herself. And I said, you put me in a car with a complete fucking stranger. Once again, he didn't put Jaguar in that car. Jaguar got in the car willingly. If she thought this woman was wacko, and she was so crazy, she shouldn't have gotten in the car. I, I trusted getting in that car because it came from you. Yeah. TJ, you try to exonerate yourself and say I wasn't there, I wasn't there. You pleading the fifth on just about every every question is I wasn't there, I wasn't there. Too late. You were there, child. You were there. Jaguar said you were there. Maybe she lying and you don't want to co-sign the lie. Be because maybe you're going to put your relationship in jeopardy. But it's too late now, honey. This is what you bit off, okay? You bit off something that you cannot manage. I can see that very clearly. He lost his phone in Mexico in the ocean and shit, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, what else I'll tell you about that? Okay. Yeah, you just found unsafe. And what did I say? You found unsafe and you didn't know. You didn't trust I don't know why TJ's even repeating stuff that Jaguar tells her to tell everybody, tell everybody, tell everybody what you heard and what you said and you were there and because she knows she wasn't there and she knows everything that she's saying. Jaguar has fed it to her. She's just repeating. What Jaguar is planting in her brain, that's in my opinion, based on how she's answering these questions is yeah, uh, okay. Uh, all right. You know, very, very vague. And when people answer like that, they're not answering, answering emphatically. You can tell they were not there to witness anything or did they hear anything. They are being fed the answers. And if they don't want to say they were not there, but we clearly heard her say she wasn't there in one of the... Uh, question and answering sessions that Jaguar was putting her through. But if she does not want to say, listen, I wasn't there for all of these questions, all she's doing is saying, okay, yeah, all right. Pretty much, if you say so, if you say so. TJ, you try to exonerate yourself and say, I wasn't there, I wasn't there. You're pleading the fifth on just about every, every question is, I wasn't there, I wasn't there. Too late. You were there, child. You were there. Jaguar said you were there. So I don't know what is TJ's game plan. If she's planning on going back to Naisha, if she's planning on staying with Jaguar, but she sure did put her little two cents in this pot, in this cauldron, and she's stirring and has stirred the pot. So she cannot throw rocks and hide her hand and said, oh, I'm innocent in all this. No. You put out this narrative that official King Payne said these things about Jaguar even before he got down there to Dallas, that he told you not to help Jaguar, that she was a scammer and a narcissist. Because remember, she doesn't have a backbone, she doesn't want an argument, she doesn't want to be on Jaguar's bad side because they got to sleep the night together or at night. So she want to be on her good graces at all times. So she's agreeing to everything. Repeating what she heard. She didn't hear it firsthand. This is what I'm gathering from her saying, I wasn't there, I wasn't there, I wasn't there. What did I 
say about my friend the official king thing? That you forget him. That it was okay. That y'all could talk about it and work through it. But what did I say I wasn't going to do? Be mad at him. Because he don't know. He didn't know. Even though that bitch could have murdered me. Yeah. I was in the car with that bitch for three hours before I realized she was a whole eye, but she had no intention of braiding my hair. First of all, nobody told her to get in the car with that woman once again. Secondly, she said she was at the woman's apartment. And who told her to go to the apartment? Nobody. She, we were supposed to have been going to a shop. She, she took me to a private residence. The bitch could have done anything to me. And he laughed and said, oh, damn, friend, I didn't know. I didn't even bother to check. Babe, the first time I showed the stress and I was upset, tell the people how I felt. Because I, I told you, keep falling out of frame, you know? So going back to this hair braiding, she said a woman took her to her apartment with no intentions of braiding her hair. But guess what? Jaguar is a grown woman, almost 50. She's close to it anyway. She didn't have to go to that apartment. She could have just said, listen, I ain't going to your apartment. I don't know you from Adam. I'm not going. It might be a trap to tie me up and keep me there forever and ever. Amen. I ain't going. But she went. Now she complaining. Now she blaming. You won't kill a man up here with me. Fucking say the shit! You were upset. You were very really upset. About what happened. I'm so was I? Upset? You, you kept calling. And I ignored it. What did I say to you about that? Oh my gosh, she's coming out the guts. Why are you in the comments? We having a conversation. What did I say to you about you ignoring me? Because you, because you was upset that I ignored you, but I told you I didn't want to be in the middle of the chaos, like for real, like what chaos? It was just chaos because what things that were told to me behind the scene, and I just genuinely wanted to help you from the Let's beginning. Let's get to the end. Did you say that you wanted to send me some money the night that you, you bought me dinner and had it Uber Eater to the house with Miss Hannigan? again? Well, not that Cut night. The it, was the, it was the next day. Because that was the next day when you called me and you told me that you were standing outside and under the tree. Yeah, mm -hmm. under the tree. I had already ordered you food. Yeah, that was the night mm -hmm. before. Because I didn't get a chance to finish it, my fish and grits. Yeah, that lady cut off the phone. She cut off the phone, she cut off yeah. the internet. What did I cut off the yeah. next day, but no, Jaguar, it's not that you're crazy. It's that you tell so many lies that nobody knows what to believe. Yeah, babe, you told that man, my best friend, right? That's what they were saying, he was my best friend? You told that man you wanted to send me money to help, and what did he tell you? You was okay. What do you mean I was okay? What do, what do you, can you interpret that... You were okay, and that you had money, and that he sent you two hundred dollars, and don't worry about it. You were okay, but both of them assured me that you were. Okay. No, 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 no. But you guys notice, and take note, she did not say official kingpin called Jaguar a scam artist, and for her not to help her, she said he told her Jaguar was okay. They got it covered. She um. Sean if you as well as King Payne had it covered because they sent her money. Didn't he say something else? What else said he say? Now this is the part where Jaguar is reaching. She's trying to pull this information out of TJ. I don't think the information is there to be pulled out. I think Jaguar is planting a seed and has planted a seed that is not true. TJ is very reluctant to repeat that false information. Let's take a listen. What else did he say? Don't do that. What else did he say? Because he didn't just say that I was okay. He told you that I, I possess certain characteristics. What were they? It was three, I remember. Yeah. What did he say? He said I was a... And then again, maybe Jaguar did not put that false seed into TJ's brain to lie. But could be TJ lied initially, lied to Jaguar, and now is biting her in the butt because now she's got to repeat that lie. The lie that she accused official King Payne of telling her 
not to help Jaguar. That's before she came to Dallas. And also telling her that Jaguar is a narcissist and a scam artist. You would think if it was true, she wouldn't have difficulty in repeating it. She would repeat it very quickly without a problem. But here, she has a problem repeating it. No, I'm not doing too much. You're going to kill a man, kill a man. That's what he said you was doing too He said I was doing too much and what else? That I was a, you said three specific things. Now, why would TJ say don't do this? She don't know King Pain. She has no loyalty to King Pain. Her loyalty is to Jaguar. But yet, she does not want to repeat this particular statement. Because why? Because I believe it's a lie. Tony, you said I was a con artist. I was a what? I was a narcissist and I was a what? And I was a what? You said it was three things. Oh. You're going to kill a man, kill a man. I, no. You said I was three things. Don't do that. You said you told me that that man, my best friend, the official campaign, told you that I was a con artist, a narcissist, and a scam artist. Right. I was going to be all right. right. Did you or did you not say that? I did you? say that, but no, 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 no. <laughs> See? Jaguar put her on the spot to repeat what she said. If it was a lie, then she caused friction between official campaign and Jaguar. Why the hell does she not want to repeat it? That's how I'm telling you. That woman don't have a backbone. If you're going to put someone's head on the chopping block, you got to go all the way. You can't do it halfway. If he said it, he said it. If he didn't, he did it. If she, what she said, if it was a lie, she got to re recant it. It's, it's simple. But she's, you don't want to say it and be around the bush. Jaguar had to drag it out of her. Which tells me, folks, something ain't clean in the buttermilk. Something ain't clean in the buttermilk. I believe TJ is lying. What do y'all think? Drop it in the comments. So, did you or did you not say that? I did that? say that because it was said to me. So, like, don't try to, like, try to make it seem like this. this so then why do you feel bad about what was told to you by my best friend? Because, like, how many weeks ago was that told? That was, so what? Like, it was, how many weeks ago was that told? Like, y'all to fall out online. How, like many that weeks, how many weeks ago was that told to you? That was before that we came. Before we came here. Before. We've been together for six weeks, so that was, what, seven weeks ago? Yeah. Did I ever say anything about it? Well, it was seven weeks ago, according to Jaguar. Maybe official Kingpin don't feel the same way about her. Maybe he changed his mind. That she's not a scam artist and all these different adjectives that he called her. And TJ didn't want to repeat it, but she did. I'm telling you, when you are the wee house in the morning, 4 and 3 o'clock in the morning, you lovey-dovey and pillow talking and all that they're carrying on, stuff come out that you don't want to say because TJ obviously did not want to tell her, but she told her, and once she told her, Jaguar is going to be very confrontational eventually. And this is what happened. Uh, apparently, official kingpin went after her for making some type of accusation in that room. And now we know what the accusation is. Jaguar was plotting and scheming for her and the not to put out a lie on official kingpin. Now, I don't know if... She got together with the knot and actually started to plot. But this is what Sean Davy Way said that she was planning to do. And he said he went and told Official Kale Payne exactly what she was up to. And this is where the falling out happened. This is why he went into that coffee room and cussed her out. And when he did that, she unleashed this information on him that she knew for a fact, according to TJ, that is that he said all these things about her even before TJ got in that car and went down there to Dallas. Now, it could be that she made up this particular statement that King Payne said these things about her before TJ went to Dallas, only to cover herself about her plotting and scheming to put out these false receipts on him, and she was going to do it through the knot. She was going to try for the knot to bring him down. And then she was going to expose the knot and say they're all false receipts and show proof where the knot made it up. So that's what's going on. 
it's a hell of a mess, folks. But I hope the Nod is taking note that Jaguar is not his friend. She don't want to be his friend. I hope King Pin learned his lesson that Jaguar is not his friend because you don't do that to friends. King Pin is supposed to be her best friend. Sean Davy Bay, however, learned his lesson and he exposed Jaguar for trying to plot and scheme on official King Pain. You told me this, what, three weeks ago? Finally admitted it to me three weeks ago? That he was talking about me like, I'm going behind my back here. What about three weeks ago? Babe. I hear you, yeah. Was it three weeks ago? Yeah, like, I, have I, I said anything about it public? No, but here's... Have I said anything about no. it privately? No, well, privately, yes. Have I said anything about it publicly? No. Right? Yeah. But I ain't killed a week ago? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to talk about it. That's your friend. Am I a good friend, babe? Mom's the word. TJ said, listen, if I answer that question, I may incriminate myself. I may throw you under the bus. I'm not saying nothing. In your opinion, living with me for six weeks straight, day in and day out, am I a good friend? Are you a good friend? Yeah. I think you're... Let me tell you something. Anytime you get a straight question, am I a good friend? The other person got to think about it, and they have to repeat the question, are you a good friend? You're not a good friend. Am I a caring, considerate person? Yeah. Did I deserve to be called a bitch? Well, on today on that coffee, you know, that, that really sad me, because I really thought your relationship was tighter than that. And did I not show her nothing but all the love, respect, and support? Yes. Did I not triple down on our friendship? You did. Did I not say that I was disgusted and anybody would try to use me to hurt him? Yes. And what was his response? I don't know. I mean, I just heard a lot of arguing on that. Well, I wasn't arguing. No, you wasn't arguing, but he was upset. But I mean, it wasn't. A, and he called me a what? DJ got a bad bone. And he called me a what? And Sean oh. Davey Wade Coffee Room? Will you call me a what? He said he was your friend and he do it. I think a bitch. That's what you think? Now she thinks he called her a bitch. She's not sure. If you got to say, I think he called you, she's not sure. Yeah. Well, you heard. I thought I heard, bitch. Now she thought she heard. I'm telling you guys, anytime you're not sure that something was said, you have to check with that person first before you repeat it. But she should have done, because she got... Efficient King Payne's number. All of them got each other's number, okay? Because they call each other behind the scenes, off the line. She should have called him up and said, listen, I heard what you said about Jaguar, that she's a B-I-T-C-H, and allow him to say, maybe it sounded like it, but I didn't call her that. Just allow that conversation to take place first before you go carrying news. What I don't like about TJ, she liked to throw rocks and hide her hands. She put that information in Jaguar's mind. And now she's acting like if she don't want to talk about it. If you didn't want to talk about it, why did you mention it in the first place? Because you knew Jaguar was going to blow up. Slowly and eventually, it took her three weeks. Because she was maybe wanting some more money out of them. Under the table. I don't know. But now Jaguar wants blood. She wants the not to go after official kingpin. I will not hurt you, Michael Braggs. I love you too much. So, even in this moment after you call me a bitch, I still love you. I will not hurt you. Enter oh. my life by nefarious means. God knows what your true intentions were, but I really don't know because I grew to love you. You're my friend. So Jaguar said she has grown to love her friend, official King Payne, she won't hurt him, but she's not going to help him either. I won't help you get ass either. I'm a bitch. Let's make it true. Make it true. Because you know what a bitch will do in this moment? I won't hurt you. I ain't you either. I'm a bitch. Tonight. My favorite pet monster. 
Measure. The one if the Lord knows that he is the new pet monster. I wonder if he knows that little title belongs to him. feelings about you and disingenuous all the time, apparently like yours. This is some bitch. String his ass up. Make it good enough to make the papers. I'm a bitch. Wow. And also a scam artist, a con artist, a narcissist. I don't need no help. I'm this, I'm that. You running around with that bitch, Amy, Amy. That's what I call it. Not a psycho. That's a whole psycho. So if you can work with a psycho, why can't I? It was just a matter of time before they turned on each other because they're in it for the money. It's not a genuine love. So now Jaguar has called out the goon. She has called out the knot to go after official King Payne and go for the juggler. She says she's not going to lift a finger to help. The knot can do whatever he wants on his, it's his platform. She's just going to sit back and watch the fireworks. But you know, there's an old saying, when you dig a hole for somebody, dig one for yourself, because you might be the first to fall into the hole. Anyway, guys, I'm over now. Drop your comments. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so at this time before you leave the page. Give the channel that thumbs up button, that bell. If you have seen the video and you like it, please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. I'm over and out. Thank you for watching.